Oh. oh, hey, didn't see you there. I think you guys are gonna really enjoy this tutorial this time. So, that being said, let's get to it. What is going on, you wonderful people? My name is Brandon. Welcome back to Creighton TV. So, in today's quick tutorial video, I'm gonna show you something about the Astro C40 Tournament Ready Controller and how to get your software working back on Mac. Now, I'm not gonna take credit for this whole video. I'm just showing you guys how to do it. One of my fellow subscribers commented on my last video. Remember that video that I posted right here? It was talking about the uh, Astro C40 Tournament Ready Controller not, um, software update is not working right now on the Mac. Well, this guy right here, I'm gonna comment right, put his picture of it profile right here, he said that um, you can get your Astro C40 tournament ready controller working back on your Mac, going back to old software. It was a lot of ups and downs how to get you can your, go back to old software or ways you can do it. But this guy, he, he left a comment on my video. So this is how we're going to do it. I'm going to show you today how to do that in today's video. So if you want to get your Astro C40 working back on your Mac, and go back to old softwares because who knows when um, Astro is going to bring out the new update and fix it and everything else. So that being said, if you're uh, new here, like this video, subscribe if you're new, and let's get back to this old software so we can get back to uh, configuration on our Astro C40 using the software on the Mac. Let's get it and let's go. So if you're like me and you're on the Astro's new software for the Astro C40 tournament ready controller, and you're, you know, using the Mac and you can't use your software right now, which I mean, I'll show you right now the new software over here. So if you're like me and you're using version 1.1.102 and your stuff doesn't work no more on Mac, I know how you feel. So today's quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to go back to old software updates where you can still use this and get back to your configuration of using the um, Astro C40 Term Ready Controller on your Mac. So let's get to it. And I'm not taking full credit for this, but thanks to one of my fellow subscribers, I'm going to give him another pop-up again right here. You know, he commented on my last video. If you haven't seen that last video when I said, hey, it's be right here and I post a card link right up here. And it'd be at the end of this video where you couldn't get Astro C40 Turner Ready Controller to work no more on the Mac. So in today's tutorial, what you're going to do, you see I still have the old one or the newest one that's up. You know, if I check for updates, you know, everything's up to date. You can't go back. You can't do nothing. Even if you plug your controller in, which I'll show you right here. I'll plug it in just real quick. As you guys can see, it still says no device found. Everything else, bam, plugged it. It's on, plugged in, and now it says no device found, plug in controller. And I'm on, you can see right there, wireless mode. So, huh, wired mode, sorry. But... This is going to be a, the quick fix of what you're going to do. So unplug your controller from right now for the, the computer. Close that software. You want to go to two websites. The links will be down in the description. First website you're going to want to go to is called Wayback Machine. That's the website you're going to want to go to, Wayback Machine, web.archive.org. You want to go there. So once you do that, you want to come to Astros, open up another tab on your Google Chrome, or if you're using Safari, I prefer you use Google Chrome. So go uh, there, go to astrosc40.com uh, where you download the software. This actual link will be down in the description box below, just so you can just click on it and go straight to there, and you're there. So you want to do is highlight the URL, copy it. When you get to this, this website, Wayback Machine, you want to paste it right here where it says, that enter URL, hit enter. Now this shows you all your uh, previously updates when you use this software when you know back then. So you can go back and click on any one that you want. And look, I'm in the year 2020. I can go back to 2019 if I really want to. So you can go back way then if you really want to. But we're just going for this video. I would go back, so you can go back to November. Then, me, I'm going to go back to October the 2nd. That's what the dude recommended that I go to in my video. So we're going to try October the 2nd. Now, I haven't done this yet. So I'm doing this all in real time with you guys. So if I click on October the 2nd, I click on where it says snapshot, the little time and date. I guess that was the time that I was on the website. October the 2nd, it let it load. Now it brings up the Astro C40 tournament ready software again. Now we're going to download for Mac. <music> Make sure when you hit download, you click on keep and open and go through the install. Oh, bam. 
You see right there, software version uh, 1.1.101. But back on an older update, make sure you have auto update off. Auto update off, because you will automatically update. So now, remember, we're gonna take the controller, plug it back in. Bam! Woo! <laughs> Got the controller back to work. Let's go. Thank you for that person that left that comment on my video. My old video, I will have that video, uh, that comment pinned to the top. But this does work. Woo! Now we can go back to our profiles, check them out. Let, let's see it go. Woo! You know what I'm saying? I can go back in and fix my sticks and everything else. If you guys want to see my settings right now. So we'll start off with mapping. Only one, like I said, so I have my left one. My left, under and left is X. My under right is circle. My sticks, I used to have them up, but now I just put them back to normal. My triggers, you see I got full activation on everything else. Woo! Got my whole software on And then, you know, the equalizer, everything else, mic output, side tone. I just leave 50%. Mic output, I keep high. Volume speakers, uh, that. But so normally for me, my controller doesn't really die. So effects for LED brightness, I set mine to 30%. Turn off your rumbles. If you if you keep turn them on, if you like vibration. But me, I apparently don't. That being said, there you go. Now you can go back to your old software i will not update until astro hits me back up and tells me they fixed the new software they get this controller working react because it's been too long that i couldn't go back to my old software you know change profiles do what i never need to do and other than that woo! it says the controller is up to date you're gonna turn on auto update on that too on the controller so make sure you turn that off too auto update on the controller because it might update next time but there you go right there and there, how you get your Astro C40 tournament ready controller working back on the Mac. Woo, man, man it's been, I didn't even know about this, y'all, so I'm not taking full credit. I just showed you guys how to do it. Both those links will be down in the description box below, but I know there's tons of you guys out there that's like, man, I want to get my Astro C40 controller working back. I want to fix my stick drift. I want to change my settings. So that way you can do it that way going back. Thanks for that uh, fellow subscriber that commented on my YouTube video. You know, he, he helped me, helped all you guys out, and I just brought it to you guys. But that is awesome. Now I get my controller work. Woo, man. Feeling excited. Can't wait to bring out another tutorial video this Thursday. Uh, stay tuned for that video coming out. But right now, if you want to get your off that new version and go back to old version, this is how you do it. But once Astro hits me up and let me know how... Um, let me know that they fixed the software and everything's working fine. Then I will do a video on that updating. And since I know how to go back, I can update and go back and forth. So that's pretty good. But I hope you did enjoy this video. Like this video, subscribe if you're new. So subscribe, like this video, share it around to everybody as it helps the YouTube algorithm. Both links will be down in the description box. First two, and I'll catch you guys in another tutorial. Other than that, it's your boy Brandon from Creighton TV, and I'm signing out of you. Peace. God bless everybody.